Price is Right Pricing Game Recap for Friday, May 2nd, 2014. Now, here were today's pricing games that ended the week. One Away, Squeeze Play, Plinko, Magic Number, Gas Money, and Most Expensive. The first contestant was Michael, and no, it was not me, who was a part of Derek's birthday crew. His friend Derek and the, was in the audience at uh, the taping of this airing of The Price is Right. He bid $800 on Colhan leather accessories modeled by the ravishing Rachel Reynolds. Actual retail price, $800. $50. It's only off by $50. Pretty good bid. He played one away for a chance to win a Scion XD modeled by the marvelous Manuel Arbelias. The wrong price of the car was $27,348. Rachel was in charge of changing the numbers. For the first number, Michael chose the 2 to be a 1 and not a 3. For the second number, he chose the 7 to be an 8 and not a 6. For the third number, he chose the 3 to be a 4, not a 2. For the 4, he chose the 5 and not the 3. Yeah, he changed. He chose the 4 to be a 5 and not a 3. And for the 8... He chose that to be a 7 and not a 9. So, the new price became $18,457. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did Michael have at least one number right? Yes, Michael had at least one number right. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did Michael have at least two numbers right? Michael had at least two numbers right. Let's see if we can keep this hot streak going. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did Michael have at least three numbers right? Yes, Michael had at least three numbers right. Imagine that. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did Michael have at least four numbers right? Michael had at least four numbers right. I think the almighty oh, sound effects lady psyched Michael there when he asked. And uh, Drew mentioned that Michael sounded like a, a drunk husband apologizing to his wife. <laughs> so Michael had four out of five numbers right. Could Michael get all five numbers right here? Let's find out. Oh, mighty sound effects lady. Did Michael get all five numbers right? Michael was down on his knees when he asked the almighty sound effects lady if he won the car. Did he win the car? No, he had four numbers right, so that means he had to change one number. Michael chose to have the eight be changed to a six, making the new price Sixteen thousand four hundred fifty-seven dollars. If you ask me, that would have been the number I would have changed if I was playing on stage. Okay, let's see if Michael wins the Scion XD. Was the first number a one? It most certainly was. It was not a three. Now, if the second number was a six, we knew that was the right number Michael changed, and he would win himself that car. When the second number 
in the price of the Scion XD was revealed? Was it a six? The answer was... were 2, 5, and 7, so he should have changed the 4 to a 2. Actual retail price, $18,257. Oh, what a shame. The second contestant was Amanda. She bid $1,102 on a pair of Nikon digital cameras. One being a 16.2 megapixel SLR camera, and the other being a 16 megapixel point and shoot Coolpix camera brought out by Manuela. Actual retail price $1,146. Amanda was off by $44. She played Squeeze Play for a chance to win a trip for two to Florence, Italy. That is round trip coach from Los Angeles. And it includes a six-night stay in a deluxe room at the Hotel Brunel Shelley. Br Brunelleschi. That's, that's how it's pronounced. There you go. Mm -hmm. With daily breakfast included, plus a wine and cheese tasting for two. That was modeled by Rachel. The display price was $130,128. But we knew one was the first number and 8 was the last number. So this was a 5 digit prized pri uh, 5 digit priced prize Amanda was playing for. Amanda was torn between taking out the 3 or the 0. In the end she chose to get rid of the 3 as most of the audience was saying that number. So, when Drew took the three out, the price squeezed together to $10,128. That's what I love about recapping Squeeze Play, playing that sound effect. It's so awesome. Alright, now, when Drew revealed the actual retail price of the trip to Florence, Italy, it turned out that it was... Oh, j just to let you know, if it was me playing, I would have taken out the zero. Now, Drew revealed the actual retail price of the trip to Florence, Italy, and it turned out that it was... $10,128! Amanda is on her way to Florence, Italy! Arrivederci, Amanda. She mentioned that she uh, recently got married, so, well, actually, she got engaged. So that would be a nice trip for her and her fiancé to go to. I was a little worried that she didn't win it, but she turned, it turned out that she did. All right, the third contestant was Patricia, who is from Winter Haven, California. Now, when George called her name to come on down, Patricia went up um, the stage as um, she said hi to Drew, and then Drew escorted her down the um, opposite side where the stairs are located to get to her, get to her um, section to bid. And she bid $750 on a Reebok recumbent bike modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price... $799. She was off by $49. Well, when Patricia made it up on stage officially, boy, did she get good news from George Gray. You know what that was? She got to play Plinko for a chance to win up to $50,000 in cash. As we all know, Patricia gets one free Plinko chip, and she can win up to three, four more. 
if she knew something about the four small prizes over by Manuela. First, we had a Bella Cakesicle Maker that bakes up to five cakesicles at a time. The price uh, was not $26, but Patricia believed two was the first number and not six being the second number. Manuela revealed the price to be $20. Patricia won herself a Plinko chip. Next, we had a vegetable and nut chopper. It was not $15. Patricia believed one was the first number and not five being the second number. Manuela revealed the price to be $45. Should have chose the five. I'll be honest, I thought she had it with that one. Next, we had a shark steam iron. No, the steam iron wasn't like made as a shark. It's um, the brand name is Shark. Felt <laughs> like doing a little Jaws comedy there. Uh, the steam iron was not seventy dollars, and Patricia believed zero was the second number, not seven being the first number. Manuel revealed the price to be thirty dollars. Another Plinko chip has been won from her. And finally, we had a Euro Cuisine electric yogurt maker that prepares up to seven six-ounce servings. It was not $62. Patricia believed six was the first number and not two being the second number. Manuela revealed the price to be $60. Another Plinko chip, one for her. So she gets a total of four Plinko chips. Manuela brought the three one chips over to Patricia. And when Patricia climbed up the stairs and dropped her first of four Plinko chips, the first one landed in... Zero. Can you believe that? Well, let's just shake that one off. Now for the second chip. That landed in... $100. Better than nothing. For the third chip, that landed in... Well, I'll tell you this. It had a one, and it had a zero, and another zero, and another zero, and... Another zero for... Ten thousand dollars! Yeah! Oh, that is so cool. And for Patricia's fourth and final Plinko chip, that landed in an amount she already got. What amount was that, you ask? Well, I'll tell you that it was... One hundred dollars. It almost went into 500 on the board's right side, but it just tilted over to the right, to the 100 slot. So, Patricia won herself $10,200 in cash. Plus, she won herself the Casicle Maker, the Steam Iron, and the Electric Yogurt Maker, totaling... $110. So, Patricia won herself $10,310 in cash and small prizes, and this is considered an actual win. The fourth contestant was Robin, a male, and it was not Robin Thick. He bid $700 on designer jewelry from Brooke Benson Designs, brought down by Rachel in the middle of contestants' row. And the actual retail price of that designer jewelry from Brooke Benson Designs was... $700 exactly! Robin wins a $500 bonus! And now, he gets to play Neil Rock's 87 second favorite pricing game, Magic Number. For a chance to win these two prizes, 
a Golden West Billiards antique style pool table that is classically designed with a turn of the century feel and features standard legs and a maple finish, modeled by Rachel, and a Beachcomber hot tubs leap hot tub that has 10 jet ports and seating for five, modeled by Manuela. It has been a while since Magic Number has been played. In the acknowledgments, you'll find out a little more. Now, Robin set the magic number to $1,879. He at one point had it set up at $2,000, but then he decided to lower it down to $1,879, making that like his ideal choice. I think he had also set it at like around a little over $1,900. All right, but he stuck with $1,879. As we should know, that magic number has to be higher than the price of the pool table and lower than the price of the hot tub. Now, when it was time to reveal the prices, uh, Drew went over to Rachel first. So, this will determine whether or not Robin won or not. Was $1,879 higher than the price of the pool table. Rachel revealed the price to be... $2,600. And that was the end of the game. By the way, Manuela revealed the hot tub to be $4,995. So... Robin should have set the magic number between $2,601 and $4,994. Okay, the fifth contestant was Jonathan. And it was not Jay Van Diesel. He bid $1,351 on a Spectre bass guitar modeled by Manuela on the turntable. Actual retail price, $1,600. He was off by $249. He played gas money for a chance to win a Honda Inside LX modeled by Rachel along with $10,000 in cash. Now, here are the five car prices from left to right. $19,890, $18,725, dollars $20,565, $20, $20, and $17,480. For Jonathan's first pick of a car price that he believed had gas money behind it, and not the pink slip to the car. He chose $17,480. Rachel revealed that car price to have... $2,000 in gas money. Now, Jonathan can take the $2,000 and quit or keep on going. Jonathan decided to keep on going. He next selected... $18,725. I felt that was a good pick. So, when Rachel went over to that price and revealed what was behind it, it turned out that it was... Can you believe it? The pink slip to the car. And there goes $2,000 down the drain. Drew revealed $19,890 to be $4,000 in gas money. I, I kind of felt that was going to be the price. And Rachel revealed $20,585 to be $1,000 in gas money. And she revealed $21,665 to be $3,000 in gas money. 
Okay, the sixth and final contestant was Teresa, who is from Detroit, Michigan. She bid $1,899 on a Kimco like 50 LX motor scooter modeled by Rachel. Actual retail price, $2,299. She was off by $400. Teresa played most expensive for a chance to win these three prizes. A Frigidaire Affinity front load steam washer and electric dryer from Plessers.com. The steam washer has a 4.2 cubic foot capacity while the electric dryer has 10 cycles. That was modeled by Rachel. A 27 inch HP NV Phoenix desktop computer that has high end graphics and a powerful processor and is equipped with 16 gigs of memory and a 2 terabyte hard drive with printer included, modeled by Manuela and a fire tainment all season propane gas fire table with a ceramic coated cooking mount modeled by the goofy George Gray. Teresa believed that the washer and dryer number one was the most expensive. I will tell you why that was not a good choice when I get to it. Now we went over to Manuela with number two the NV Phoenix desktop computer from HP. She revealed its price and it was $2,020. A very familiar price, I must say. Now over to George with number three, the all-season propane gas fire table from Firetainment. He revealed the price and it was $3,000. $3,079. Uh-oh. Yeah, I thought this is the one I thought was the most expensive. And um, it'll seem to be that way unless that washer and dryer is more than $3,079. And if it is, Teresa will win all three prizes. Well, when Rachel revealed the price of the washer and dryer from Plessers.com, remember, it's lesser at Plesser. Hint, hint. She revealed the price to be... $1,898. That was the least expensive prize. She should have chose the fire table. Again, that's what I thought it was going to be. Now it is time for the acknowledgement section. Here's what BJMTV Canada's own Benjamin James Mason has today. Magic Number was played for only the second time all season. It's been played as many times as Triple Play has this season, too. And here's a fun fact that some of you may or may not know already. Mac but Magic Number has never been placed in the number one slot because of the amount of time needed to start the game up. Today was the sixth time this season a contestant has won least expensive, if you know what I mean. Mm -hmm. And this was indeed one of the worst weeks of the season with only 6 games out of 31. Or 7 out of 30 if you count that $10,200 win from Plinko. And it doesn't stop there. No cars were won in the games either. So much for winning piggy banks and stacking the wrong decks. And I'll tell you one more thing. That's too much! Yeah, this week was so depressing. Ah. We're all going to need some drinks after this week, I'll tell you that. <laughs> uh, but uh, I will say that uh, this show that ended this dreadful week really wasn't too bad. Squeeze Play was our only, well, Squeeze Play was one in its entirety, and Plinko got an actual win. And uh, as far as cash goes... We uh, gave away $10,700. Patricia won $10,200 in cash. 
along with the casicle maker, the steam iron, and the electric yogurt maker, she won as her three small prizes. And $500 won by Robin for a perfect bet. So, Amanda and Patricia are the MVPs of The Price is Right. And contestant recognition goes to Robin for his perfect bet. And now it is time for the showcases. The top winner was Amanda, and the runner-up was Jonathan. Showcase number one. That included an Ashley Furniture Industries eight-piece living room group that has incredibly soft fabric and plush cushioning. It includes a sofa, two end tables, and more. Modeled by Manuela. A Danby stainless steel colored kitchen suite that includes a four burner gas range, a compact bottom mount Energy Star refrigerator, and an eight place setting dishwasher modeled by Rachel, and a Ford Mustang V6 Coupe modeled by Manuela. Amanda chose to bid on that showcase, and her bid was $26,723. Showcase number two. That included a 70-inch sharp LED smart TV modeled by Rachel, a trip for two to Dubai, and a seven-day Caribbean cruise that is round-trip coach from Los Angeles to Miami, Florida. The trip to Dubai and the Caribbean cruise were modeled by Manuela. Jonathan bid $24,500. For the showcase reveal, Drew went to Jonathan first. His bid was $24,500. Actual retail price? $20,738. Jonathan was over. So now, if Amanda did not go over on her showcase, no matter how far she missed it, she would win it. Her bid was $26,723. Actual retail price? You will not believe this. $27,425 for a difference of $702. What a great day Amanda had. Big winning from her. She won a grand total of $38,699 in prizes. Congratulations, Amanda. Promotional consideration for the Price is Right pricing and recap this week has been provided by Wesson Canal Oil. Now for the sponsor spoiler. Next week, the Price is Right pricing and recap will be sponsored by Mount Olive Sweet Relish. Now, this pricing and recap is being um, recorded on today's date, which is Saturday, May 3rd. Uh, again, I couldn't do it yesterday because I was out with my friend seeing The Amazing Spider-Man 2. So, uh, at this time, I just want to wish... TV lover, if he's watching, a happy birthday for today. Because today, May 3rd, is his birthday. And, um, just want to remind you all that if High Low and Danger Price get played on the same show anytime next week, Neil Rocks 87 has the recap. So, I, it's going to wrap things up on what was definitely a very bad week for season 42. But, we got to look at the positive side of things and know that things are, will definitely get better next week. Until then, this is Mr. Horgan reminding you to help control the pet population. Have your, pay, have your pet spayed or neutered. I need a drink. Good night. <laughs>